Last Thursday, the 17th of April, Dr. Norman Wagner, president of the University of Calgary, delivered his State of the University address in the University Theatre. There were about 150 in attendance, including members from the University Administration, faculty and staff, the SLC, and a few from the student body. Dr. Wagner's 45-minute presentation included a discussion on the topics of teaching, research and scholarship, and service to the community. In his final comments, he addressed the question of how we can accomplish these goals and proceeded to set forth his views on these issues in a 10-point stratagem. After his speech, I had a chance to speak with Dr. Wagner, and I asked him about the U of C's Faculty of Management receiving accreditation by the American Assembly of Collegiate Schools of Business, recently announced in a news release. Well, accreditation is a, uh, is a big thing for many professional schools, and uh, that's what our Faculty of Management calls itself and what it is. And I think it's an important indicator that um, schools around North America feel that the quality of our education is up to a standard which, uh, which warrants accreditation. Also another thing on that same subject which you mentioned in your speech was um, the idea of the specialist versus the generalist. And you said that North America has rediscovered the generalist. And uh, certainly in comparison with um, a lot of other countries in Europe and abroad, who tend to uh, emphasize the specialist much more. Do you think there's any value in the specialist system? Oh, well, I think there clearly is. If, if you're going to have a surgery in a hospital, I want a specialist to do it. Mm -hmm. I don't want someone who's just interested in the subject. So you always have both. I think what I was trying to say was that many, uh, many corporations that uh, two or three years ago were saying, oh, give us uh, highly skilled accountants who have done nothing but accounting are now coming and saying, no, that isn't quite what we want. We'll do some of that training, but we want people who are articulate and who are uh, literate and who are able to communicate and so on. And I, I think that's a very interesting development, and it's noticeable enough, I think, to draw attention to it. Do you think, then, with that in mind, that the generalist also may have some shortcomings? Well, of course, because I, I think what we've discovered is that, is that many companies believe in training people specifically for a job and that the highly skilled uh, individual or the highly trained individual, uh, nothing about skills, but highly trained individual, uh, still had to undergo a certain amount of retraining and therefore was that the best use of a university? And that's the point I was trying to make, that I think universities have to re-examine whether or not they should be involved in the on-the-site training um, of specialists, uh, perhaps after graduation or, or you know, MBAs and all that sort of thing. And I think that's a most interesting prospect because in parts of the world, uh, universities provide, say, through uh, satellite or through television, uh, almost entire master's programs right on the shop floor in different plants. We've not done that sort of thing, and uh, I think it's something we should look at. Also, you seemed fairly supportive of the government supporting of the matching of grants and funds at the university, and yet there seems to be certainly in the media tremendous controversy over uh, underfunding and cutbacks. How would you uh, make up for the difference, or how would you uh, re respond to that? Well, I think the government has been extremely generous in matching contributions that have been received from, from other sources, and uh, this is one of the few governments that practices that, and it certainly is encouraging. As I said, we've received uh, something like $15 million in the past couple of years, uh, as donations from specific organizations in the community which the government has matched. The uh, base operating grant is something that uh, we continue to talk to them about. We always believe that uh, you know, it could be higher, um, primarily because we've experienced such phenomenal growth. And I think that's basically our argument. If, if the government had recognized the full extent of our growth, uh, we certainly wouldn't have a problem. Indeed, you, you also mentioned the importance that universities are having today in the, in the world in general and, and the uh, population at large. How much responsibility do you think the government has in making sure that institutions like ours are kept up to the standards, uh, world standards? Simple answer to that is society gets what it deserves. Uh, I think that's basically it. If, if we are as important as uh, people think we are, and as we like to believe we are, then we shouldn't feel ashamed and bashful about asking the tools to do the job. If we have some inferiority complex which suggests that we're just fooling around, then I, I wouldn't be out there. I'm convinced that we are extremely important and that what we're doing is a very good job and that it's very important to society. Therefore, I call on society to help support, in fact, to support what we're doing. Uh, I mean, we're not a profit corporation. We, uh, we receive support from society 
to provide a setting in which society will, will ultimately benefit. Also, you mentioned uh, the Schofield Hall coming up and the various uh, yeah. developments on campus, and you told other faculties not to be jealous of that because, indeed, they will be yes. next in turn. What do you see as the next area of um, concern at the UFC? We have, uh, we have not uh, developed any, uh, any priorities for the moment because we had such a long list and we we're finally able to clear it. But certainly I would think uh, probably another professional building very shortly that might accommodate uh, environmental design and law and a few of these others uh, would be a very interesting uh, concept to go after. And uh, as soon as it's on our list, we'll be able to talk about it. And on that note, Dr. Wagner, I'd like to thank you very much for being thank with you. us today. And this has been Jared Chopra for University Tilting. This is a special University